Hello everybody, we're back yet again for another drum playthrough review. And for those of you all brand new, welcome. My name is Nick, I play drums. Why did I say my name looking away from the camera? That was weird. I play drums, I play a bunch of other instruments and we like to do these videos because it's a great way for us to analyze technique from other drummers that are better than us, that are famous. So that way we can learn, we can digest this technique and employ it in our own skill set. So that way we can become better at our craft. Today we're reviewing a first timer for the channel. This is a uh, deathcore drummer that's for a legendary deathcore band Thy Art Is Murder, who I never really got into a whole lot. I mean, I didn't mind it when one of their songs came on. I didn't like change it, but I just never really listened to them a whole lot. Anyway, these guys are from Australia. The drummer's name is Jesse Beeler. So from what I understand, he's absolutely sick. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in as quickly as possible. But yeah, so stoked. I don't know exactly what to expect. I'm uh, going to see if, what I can analyze from his technique. So I'm probably going to be quiet and just point out a couple things every so often here and there. All right. So we're going to get right into it, fellas. Let's get it. Eternal Suffering, name of the song. Ah, sponsors. Crazy Copto, Foot Blaster, Remo. All six sponsors. A lot of those guys sponsor a lot of my favorite drummers too. Like Crazy Crypto, uh, Copto, I believe they uh, they sponsor Eugene uh, Rabchenko. He was one of my favorites. I got a drum lesson from him. It was sick. Okay. He's got small chinas now that I sit. I'm looking at this video. He's got tiny chinas. Tiny chinas. Here I am saying that. I've got two 18 inches on my side. Big chinas. I like big chinas. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Let me see what his hands are doing. What in the... <laughs> what is that? What technique is that? It looks like a twist between push-pull and like a whipping motion. Now do that blast again, please. First things first, very solid on his skank beats. Very good rim shots too. Yeah, push that earmon on the back end. Okay, he's doing finger rolls. Oh, so he's doing a whipping motion. Okay. Very accurate, too. Very accurate. You look at where his eyes are going, too. He's like kind of shifting all the back and forth. He's trying to find the place in the metronome right there. He's trying to make sure he's not off time. Because he was doubting himself for a second there. Because I do the same thing, too. Okay. He's not really using a lot of ghost notes. Here we go. Nice little complicated beat here. Let's see what he's got going on. Interesting. So yeah, you notice again how he's keeping loose. He's keeping his fingers open when he's hitting this. Which is good. That means he's not straining. He's keeping good power without straining, without being too tense. That's what you want. Very good fill there. I need to see what he's doing with this left hand. It is weird. It's like he's doing a, like a bread cutter motion. Can I take a look at it from that angle? No? Okay. That That's really odd. It looks like it's a, a cross between like French grip and push pull and bread cutter. It's like, what in the heck is that? He's using wooden beaters too. Those are naturally heavier. Those are harder to play with. And he's doing like really fast swivel with that. So that's impressive. The snare sounds phenomenal too. It sounds great. Like that sounds fantastic. That's a great snare. That's as good as the snares uh, from Sleep Token. The Sleep Token snare is great. And 
yeah, we're building up to a breakdown here. Come on, show me that blast beat again. I want to see that other hand. There we go, breakdown. Definitely a very powerful drummer right here. He doesn't have to hit hard to produce that good power. He's pretty loose with it. Because like compared to some of these other drummers that are on here, he seems like he's a smaller guy. Okay. Well, I, I guess that was the uh, I guess that was the end of the video. What was he doing with that hand? That's what I'd like to know. I'm gonna have to look up some other videos of this guy because like, oh my gosh, that was that was interesting. I honestly don't know what to say. I, I, I don't I don't know what he was doing with that hand. Like that kind of I don't know what the heck he was doing that was like interesting. It's so interesting, I gotta bust out the pad to try and figure it out. So this is what it seemed like he was doing to me. He seemed like he was doing a cross between all these techniques and combined. I don't know if that's what he was actually doing. I'm gonna check out a couple more of his videos and maybe like do another video on him just to see what was going on with that. But it looked like he was doing this weird like push pull, a little bit of French grip, and then also using the bread cutter technique, which if you don't know, the bread cutter technique is when you take your arm and you're moving it back and forth like this in order to relieve tension. So and at the end of the day, it's gonna kind of look like this. because that helps to kind of relieve some of that tension on the shoulder and get some of that lactic acid out in order to actually make things a little bit easier to play for longer. But either way, like that just, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say about that. That's a very interesting technique if that is what he's doing though. I, I Kudos to that guy. <laughs> you definitely stumped me. I don't know what to call that. I'm gonna check more of that out a little bit. I mean, like if, if I'm right at the end of the day, like that, that would be sick. I'd feel absolutely proud of myself. He had a lot of power while keeping it very nice and loose and not tense. I would like to see a little bit more expressiveness, but he gets the job absolutely perfectly done very well done drums uh play through I, i'm still kind of speechless over that technique i don't know what the heck that hand was doing but either way like still phenomenal job on his part that is a very good excellent use of uh keeping it loose and keeping it nice and controlled the whole time while also not using a whole lot of energy and keeping very good power very good resource management right there with all that being said guys we're going to cut the video here so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and here's a couple things you guys can do to support me for one you can go subscribe to my channel, check out the other videos that I got. I've got a lot of different content that's on there and I guarantee you'll like it. It's kind of similar to this, but also some different things. Comment on the video, like the video, share the video and all that other stuff. Check out all my other things that I've got available on my links. I got my band page, my band uh, Instagram and all that stuff. So with all that being said, guys, we're gonna cut the video here. Hopefully y'all have an amazing day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers. To learn technique is a great first worst. I almost got through that without starting my way into a ditch. That was uh, terrible.